Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Robindako. Welcome. Welcome to today. I want to share with you uh, fill the gap, fill the knowledge gap, fill the knowledge gap. Fill the knowledge gap. There is a level of knowledge concentration that we all need to to stabilize our mindset to build the foundation for strong character and strong persuasions of life. To build strong character and to build strong persuasion or strong foundations of life. If we don't know it, we cannot achieve it, and that is life. If we don't know it, we cannot achieve it. Success is not by chance. Success is um, it, it is deliberate. If we succeed at anything, it is deliberate. It's not just that you were sleeping somewhere and you didn't think that anything could happen. And, and, and it happened. What we feed our mind with goes a long way to enhance the kind of life that we get to live. The books that we read on success, on leadership, on vision, on people, on culture, on identity, on finance, on systems and structures, those decide the quality of success that we enjoy in this life. To a large extent, knowledge is acquired through reading. To a large extent, the knowledge that we need uh, to, to live uh, life is acquired through reading, through you know listening, through watching. And if you see any young man who reads if you see any young woman who reads who handles books who tests for knowledge you are seeing somebody who has future and so we are talking about fill the gap there is training that we all get in this life and that training virtually is not that which I mean, the training from school, the training from the culture, that is generic. That is not the training that sets us free, uh, sets us separate for us to succeed. The training that sets us separate of, or different from the others is the one that we did ourselves to feel the difference. The difference, and that is the gap that I'm talking of. The difference that we feel, that knowledge, that if you don't know, you will not be able to achieve uh, anything with your life. We come from a background where there's a lot that they live. Um, you know, we are taught to live a lot of things to to the goals and to something that is beyond us. And a lot of people hope and pray that whatever that they are engaged in there is a supernatural force somewhere usually we refer to that as god which will help us to succeed it is true maybe but a lot of the things the, the difference between men is the thing is the knowledge that they have uh, been exposed to that's the difference between men and that knowledge, they feel, they feel that knowledge themselves. Usually, a lot of us just leave a lot, um, many things to say uh, that God will help us, that God will change things, that this one, Unyami Bebem, and it's a cultural thing. But very few of us sit down to even analyze or audit the situation the situations of our lives, the situations of our country, to look to see that if that phrase is really indeed um, the one that is responsible for the results or 
is the level of the knowledge that we have that is responsible for the results. I am of the opinion that a lot of the times is that which we know and that which we have applied that is what sets the base for the success for the success that we enjoy in this life and so if you don't decide to feel that difference that ignorance if you don't decide to feel that yourself you will wait for god to come and help you and and that is why we try to when the obvious is even there a lot of Africans will still try to defend it and push it to the unknown, to God. And a lot of us believe that that makes us humble, that makes us humane. Uh, I don't think so. I think that is the laziness of might. I think that why we still have the, 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 the shortage that we have because you have refused to fill the gap with knowledge. And I'm talking of knowledge that will make you succeed in what you do. Knowledge that will make you successful with your life. Knowledge that will make you build that company. Knowledge that will make you build that personal life, that personal career. Knowledge that will help us to build a country that we can be proud of. A country that we can say that this country was built with knowledge there's nothing that is built and built well in this life that the foundation of it was not a conscious knowledge that the people felt you know there was a deficit somewhere they were born into a particular country and they saw the country not developing and then somebody along the line said that if we want to develop this country this is the kind of knowledge that we have to put in the head of the people and if we get them to think in this particular way, if you get them to live in this particular way, if you get them to get this skill, they will be able to produce or come out with this kind of development that we want. There is a knowledge that the man who was able to build a successful business decided to get. And that knowledge filled that gap because until that, you see the gap is a gap of ignorance, there's a gap of shallowness it's a gap of doubt. It's a gap of darkness. It's a gap. It's a gap of unpredictability. You know, we are not. We, it's the unknown. To fill that gap. Do when you see somebody with books on the things that he does. So, for knowledge. If you see somebody who is uh, doing business, who's always looking for books on management, on finance, on the business that they do, the product, the product that they handle, the, the market, the sales. When you see somebody doing something and who is always looking for books and reading, you're seeing somebody who is staging the, 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 the stage for success. If you see a politician who has books, learning, reading, filling the gap, you are seeing a politician who is staging himself to be a very good leader in politics. If you see a footballer who is always looking for knowledge, learning, watching videos of the best of players, watching watching uh, uh, movies on that line, watching getting knowledge, you are seeing somebody who you can predict their future. So when you see anybody who is trying to fill that gap, because between us and the success that we want, between us and that which we want to build, there is that, uh, what, what would you call it? There's that gap, you know. How you close that gap with knowledge will decide how much success that you get. And so uh, I, I am of the thinking that in this life, a lot of the results that anybody else gets is this a lot of them is coming from what they have put in their head in the decisions that they are making in that which they do so the quality of the uh, how much ignorance that they have fought how much darkness that they have done away with and you cannot do away with the ignorance with the darkness with with the with not knowing 
without feeling that with knowledge you know and the knowledge comes knowledge comes from the books comes from things that train them anybody that you see with that kind of any company that you see any person that you see with that culture of the gap closing the gap filling the gap with knowledge with light anybody that you see with that is somebody that you can you can that that person will succeed and so the best in any field profession whether they are doctors whether they are lawyers whoever that if you see them succeeding why they are succeeding is because they are filling the gap with knowledge they are, they are reading on that which they have committed their life to do so if they are a professional in they have a pattern they have developed a, a, and that plan is what for the knowledge that they are acquiring. And once they are acquiring that knowledge, it's it means that the network is breaking. It means that their mind, and once their mind is stretched, they will succeed. Once their mind is stretched, and once they have been able to know that which they are, they don't know, the ignorance that they have, the things that they don't have, the, what knowledge it takes for them to succeed in, once they get to know and they, they, they start to close that gap, they will succeed. A lot of the things that people succeed in, they, they put the right knowledge there. Uh, okay, so, you know, so people who are people who have identified the gap and that filling that gap. Because between us and the goal, between us and the realization of our goal is a gap of not knowing what to do. That gap, is, that gap is what is responsible for the the unproductivity. That is what is re responsible for ignorance, the errors. That gap is a gap that is full of 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 um, of ignorance. So when you who have not filled that gap, you see those notions are run by superstition. They are driven by the who are, you know, things are clear. This is it's not working. And because they have not taken the time to fill the gap, they are looking for solutions beyond themselves, beyond the ignorance. And that is why... <laughs> You see, the obvious thing is there. Everybody knows it. And then they start to quote God, and they start to quote Bible, and they start to quote some prophets somewhere, because the, the, the difference is the gap that they have not filled, which is ignorance. Which is ignorance. And that's why they come up with all kind of uh, explanation and all kind of thing uh, to tell you that it is never, the results is never uh, uh, the ignorance that they have but it's rather beyond them and so people who have decided to fill the gap they develop a reading plan a knowledge plan on the topics that they need towards the goal that they want to achieve so if you're building business for example what are the things that you don't know that you have to acquire knowledge to fill that gap to close that ignorance what is it that you don't know is it about the finances is it about the product development? Is it about the processes that you have to develop? Is it about the, the, the team that you have to build? Is it about what? What is it about? Is it about the country, the economy, the market, the sales? You know, is it about the structure of the business that you don't know? If you don't know, then you identify it. I don't know this. Now, between me and that goal is a knowledge space that I have to fill, the gap that I have to fill. Once I get the and how soon I get them and the foundation that I set will decide on something which is good for me to build on to get the results, to get to the goals. And so you cannot get to the goals in ignorance. The goals that are, are, are met in this life, they are not met just because by chance you decided, uh, uh, you know, you are trying to get to Lotto and then <laughs> you are lucky and you, get, you got to the goals. No, the base of it is knowledge. And in this life, the knowledge for success, 
a lot of things are physical the cars that they have created the computers that they have created the technology that they have created the clothes that somebody made the 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 you know everything physical that you see was created by somebody who had that knowledge you know so if you are not the one creating it is me it means that there is some particular knowledge gap that we have not filled that's why we are not getting that kind of resource so there's nothing so special or there's nothing supernatural about it it's just that there's a certain knowledge that you have not filled and if you're able to identify that knowledge which is needed for the goals to be met for the business to be built for the family to be structured if you're able to identify that and you close that gap with the right knowledge the results will come the results will come so uh people who fill that gap they have deliberate plan and strategy they read read with the intention to get the knowledge that you need to get to the goals that you have to go you, you want read with the intention to get the knowledge that you have to have to fill that gap so that you can get to your goals a lot of people don't read because we believe that we know a lot of people believe that they know especially those who have gone to school they believe so much that what they know works so you know that if you are not holding a book on a particular topic what makes you so sure that you know it when you were not born with it you may have a bit and pieces of it but for it for you to put it into a form that makes sense a form that can get you consistent results you should be somebody who have studied who should have studied that thing for you to be able to build anything around it for it to get results yet people have not read anything they don't study anything they don't even think that they don't know and then they are waiting for the results and if the results does not happen then they want to quote the bible <laughs> then they are looking for a prophet and so fill the gap if you want to meet your goals fill the gap identify that which you don't know usually people's life are, are structured around what around finances around family around you know religious activities around career around things that everybody counts on around the business that you're building the it, the things that people focus on to get results they are not millions they are just things that everybody else know but very few people have decided to to close the gap of ignorance so that they can get results very few people and so i am talking um uh, fill the, the knowledge gap fill the knowledge gap the school is not that which will fill that knowledge gap for you a little bit of knowledge so that you could get a certificate and be called something and maybe you could get a job with that certificate that's what the school did did not teach you life and how to succeed with your life and how to succeed with your dream because the school may not have known your dream your goals your passion the things that you want to do the school may not have identified that particular to succeed and so when you are able to identify that build your life with do with your life now between you and you getting to the goals there is a lot of there is a lot of knowledge that you have to get for you to get to the goals and for you if you are that kind of person who believes that what you know, i know some people have that thinking that what they know is all that there is and if it doesn't work it means that <laughs> They have tried their best a lot, a lot of people think like that those who are coming from background where they didn't like reading if you are the kind of person who never liked books at all when you didn't want anything to do with acquiring knowledge beyond the exams that you wrote you have the tendency to believe that everything that you know is all there is to uh, to have for you to succeed and these are the people who find it difficult to succeed at anything uh, uh, in, in a big scale because they believe they don't have that passion to go for knowledge because they always believe. After all, they were not attracted to books. They were not attracted to reading. The books that they were attracted in their life at all, 
if there was any was the one that they somebody had to push them to read somebody had to push them because they were going to write the exam there was a requirement so they had to read a book most people in this life don't sit down to say that I need to buy this book to read so that I can be I, it can help me to get to my goals no they write they read books they get knowledge only for the exam only for the exam that's why a lot of people end up not achieving their goals because to achieve that specific goal there is a knowledge that you have to fill there's a gap that you have to close if you don't get that gap close with the base of knowledge at least you're not going to succeed much with your life and and that that's why people who get all those class that they get from college when they come out and they see that life is tough and they are not getting to the aspirations they think that uh, you know something somewhere somewhere is is responsible nothing somewhere is responsible that knowledge that you need to to leave the goals the aspirations of life that knowledge is not coming from classroom that knowledge is if, is not even coming from church that knowledge is not coming from the radio or the newspaper that knowledge is the knowledge that you have to identify and say that i am building a business i have problem with my finances and need a certain amount of financial knowledge to close that gap or i will continue to make the same decisions the same errors and i'll continue to you know to mark time and to be in the same area for five years and then you'll get somebody to come and tell you that it's a demon that is responsible for that no in this life a lot of successes that people achieve they achieve from this the development of this of this you know that's why people succeed a lot of people are not even religious but they succeed with the goals that they set for themselves why because they are the ones always closing the knowledge gap you see them with books on everything that they are doing with their lives and so you decided to run to build a business have you closed some knowledge gap have you closed something have you had a proper information have you sat down to school yourself in that have you sat down to say that i want to build a business i want to read about five seven books i want to watch these videos i want to learn you are learning with the focus to get equipped to achieve your goals not to write exam to achieve the goals that you set for yourself you want to become the best no, uh, manager at your workplace what is it that you have to close what knowledge that you have to close because on when you have closed that knowledge it comes it, it will concentrate and once that knowledge concentrates it will push you it's like a force it will push you have you ever heard that knowledge is power that is that power that you are talking about that power will push you to that uh to that what you have to do to get the goals realize but until you close that until you have filled that gap you don't have that power for it to push you should know the level of knowledge that the citizens have and then measure it against the goals that and close that you know so it, the building is not by magic it's going to come because the people have closed that ignorance they have they have they have dealt with that ignorance you know and if you're able to deal with it you'll be able to build if you're not able to build that base that you need you are not able to close that gap of ignorance you will not achieve that success and part of that ignorance that uh, you may have to handle is that in this life the power of your mind that which you have put in this thing is responsible for a lot of the results that you're going to get don't believe it that all the things that people are trying to tell people anywhere in, in our country today that anybody at all get, gets up to talk to anything about your life don't believe it if you are going to live beyond the the house and the car and you are going to do anything significant with your life between you and that is you closing that knowledge gap closing i'm not talking of certificate i'm not talking of going to school to get certificate no i'm talking of you knowing a goal that you want to set and what knowledge that you have to get to get to that goal that one is responsible for the successes that you will get and the earlier and how quickly and the quality of knowledge that you get will decide the kind of results that you get the kind of results that i get because base of it the foundation of all the doings of man is the knowledge that they have 
if you don't know it you can do it it's simple as that you can drive because you know how to drive you can write because you have the knowledge as to how to write you can use any any gadget because you have the knowledge of it if they brought any government any gadget to your room and you, nobody told you anything about it and you never read anything about it you will look at it you fidget with it you may you, you, may, you may end up spoiling it why because you did not have the base the basic required knowledge to at least even to know where to turn it on and so knowledge is like that is in your life that which you want to get to if you don't close that gap so if you have ever tried a lot of things and they are not working you try business and you continue to have problem you continue to have problems why business you know they say that a lot of businesses a lot of business people entrepreneurs have done a lot of businesses that they didn't work and then later one worked you know why they go through that is because they were trying to close that gap so when they close it and it became so little then they got the success so when you start the gap is that is that wide why because it's white filled with ignorance inexperience unskillfulness that is what is filled with the moment you start to get the knowledge you close it you close it close it it gets to a point it concentrates and then you can get results so when you have been failing on anything at all it does not mean that you are evil it only means that the knowledge gap is there so until you make decision to close it whatever area of your life that you think you're struggling if you don't make the decision to study it commit to study it whether it's two months whether it's three months whether it's one year that you have to get the right knowledge people believe they are intelligent so much in our country and yet they have never sat down to study that subject because they heard it on radio they think that they know it but the results shows that we don't know it what we are doing and what the results that we are getting shows that we don't know it you know it's like our country that we are trying to build our results shows that there's a lot of knowledge gap because when something happens you see the things that people used to interpret things <laughs> we put them beyond our capacity and our ability and our, and our control we put a lot of things in the realm beyond our control and any society who is like that that society will never take responsibility for anything because it's beyond them and so there is a knowledge of a knowledge concentrate that you need to have knowledge concentration that you need to have to stabilize your mindset for a strong character building for the persuasion and for the foundation that you have to have to get to the goals that you set for yourself any goal that you set for yourself there is a knowledge concentrate so don't just start anything and just leave the books out leave the acquisition of knowledge out don't never if you start anything they go with constant learning constant knowing the learning major part will come from books they come from audios they come from videos they come from you doing it that knowledge they come from you going for seminars going for studies they come from you constantly asking questions that knowledge those processes are the ones that close the gap and so if you're not conscious to close the gap <laughs> Then anybody at all can call you and tell you anything why you are not growing why you are not getting results why you are not getting uh, to your goals it's because you left out that which was very much important to set the foundation which is dealing with the ignorance and you can only deal with the ignorance when you start to close the knowledge getting the right setting right from the foundation so if you don't know it you cannot achieve it it's a basic fact of life if you don't know it you can never achieve it if you want to go to any room and you went there and you put a lot of keys there you know when you go to the room the door was locked but they put about a thousand keys there if you don't know the exact key you would have to try all the keys and per chance you will get the right one and if somebody was chasing you to get you and you had to get to the room before the person got to, and you don't know it the person will get to you you know and so if you don't know it then it's just it's just chance that you're playing and yet knowing is the base of success knowing is the base of success and so when people have to decide or people have to get conscientized you know condition themselves that if I don't know it then I cannot get the resource people don't believe in that people think that some magician somewhere is responsible for their for their resource but in this life it's not true people who have significant achievement in anything know something 
that's why they have that significant achievement in that field in that which they're achieving you know they know something beyond the average that's why they're succeeding the best footballers know something about football that they are that, that's why they're succeeding the best business people know something about business that's why they're succeeding the best politicians know something about politics that's why they're succeeding the best of the field of any field know something they close that gap because there's always ignorance between you and your goals between you and your dreams between you and your achievement when you decide to close that consciously close that if you decide to close that you'll get to the goals and you don't need anybody else to tell you what to do to get to the goals what to do is the knowledge is the knowledge so you need your mind you know what you what you feed your mind with goes a long way to get you to the, the to the dreams to the achievement to achieving your dreams so you read books books get audios train yourself fill that gap of 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 ignorance you know fill it with the right knowledge and it comes with a conviction that you you know that there's a, a, a there's your knowledge is this you know maybe you, you have to get to this level but you have to get to this level of knowledge before you start to achieve but you are here so that gap is what you are trying to close and the moment you get here you start to see clearly because lack of knowledge is blindness is darkness when light comes in when you get knowledge it's like it's lit and that's where you start to see so anything that you're doing that the resource is erratic today you win tomorrow you lose today you win tomorrow you lose is because there is that gap of knowledge but human as we are we believe that whatever we know is all there is that we need to know and so when we are not getting the results we never blame ourselves that maybe it's our ignorance very few people are honest enough to say that maybe it's my ignorance a lot of people think that they know myself included i think that i know so even if i'm failing <laughs> i will not attribute to ignorance a lot of the times i may attribute it to something different and that is dishonesty you know so the moment you try to see the gap that you have to fill then you are you you, you get uh, set on the right path you know so knowledge is also acquired uh, through reading through just as i said through whatever that you have to do to get the right knowledge and to close that ignorance break it if you don't do that your results can never be predictable your results will never be consistent because you, the foundation of it is not right conditioning of knowledge so you have not filled the gap so you you are you you are not sure every day today you go up tomorrow you come down because there is some amount of ignorance between uh responsible for the failure there is and there is amount of light and knowledge that is responsible for the success and so we want to get to the success and if you want to get to the success then we have to compress shrink the ignorance and fill that with knowledge you know so reading those who read become leaders in their field leaders in their field i'm not talking about reading novels no unless you are the one who writes them you know I'm talking about knowledge that you need to succeed in that which is important to you. You cannot, if they call you in a field that you are in, you cannot talk like the one uh, who is not in that field. You talk with precision. And that would come from you having closed that gap. And if you are the star in that field, you cannot talk like the average person there. Why? Because of the knowledge that was responsible for you becoming a star and so those who succeed in any field at all they know something beyond what the average person knows that's why they succeeded and so once you start to compress you know and fill that gap with quality knowledge you will get to that field you will get to that level that people get to know you and a lot of the times people don't think that that is what is responsible for their failure they think that something else is responsible for the failure and nothing is responsible for the failure except the absence of knowledge you know so you fill that gap if you leave that 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 area empty that's why we continue to get the ignorance that's why we that's why they they continue to enjoy on us because we don't fill that side with the, the right knowledge you know and if you don't fill that side with the right with the right knowledge you will not 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 succeed
you will you will find it difficult to succeed because the ignorance is always responsible for the failure that which we don't know that which we are not deliberate of that which we are not sure of is always responsible for the inconsistencies in the delivery of the results you know so fill that gap fill that gap and you know what you know and you know what you don't know if you don't know what you don't know <laughs> And that's a major thing and a lot of people don't know what they don't know a lot of us know that we know and we believe that we know that's why we have we have thought on everything and that's a human nature but the most serious things in life the most thing the most important things in life that you want to get results in you cannot leave those to chances those you should have bought books those you should have had knowledge those you should have uh, consciously studied those anything that you want to succeed in if you don't sit down to study those and close that gap and, and deal with the ignorance in that field, you will never succeed. So wherever that we are struggling is because the gap there is filled with darkness, with ignorance. But we think that we know. That's why we are not succeeding. And the moment you get the light, whatever it is, whatever that it is that you want to have success in, you need a certain amount of knowledge before you can succeed it's not a chance it's not lotto life is not it's not you know a lot of things happen in this life and uh, people all of us have been conditioned to believe that so a lot of things are beyond us and a lot of things are out of our control me i think that a lot of things in this life are within our control within our control if you want to become the best at anything is within our control if you want to deal away with the poverty is within our control if you want to build a successful business is is within our control whatever goals that we want to reach they are within our control and the control is the knowledge that we need you see the moment you think that something is beyond you is because you you are full of you know ignorance you're full of fear you are you're full of darkness so you think that something is beyond you. If you start to acquire the right knowledge, you will see that nothing is beyond you when it comes to the goals that you have to achieve with your life. And the goals that you set to achieve, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, that if you want a successful family, it's within your reach. If you're not getting it, it's the ignorance. You don't know how what to do to get that resource. And humans only rely on the school on the family knowledge but you want to create something you want to create a life that is beyond your family and yet you want to use that family knowledge to create that life that is a sign of ignorance and that's why it becomes difficult for us to get the results and so until we close that gap we will not get the results that we want we will just be average because the gap will still be there and the gap is there for everybody well between the life that you have now and the life that you want uh, uh, to become or what you want to become the next two, three, four years, between that is a knowledge that you have to have. And if you don't consciously sit down to get that knowledge, you will not become it. And that's where you start to chase everybody. You know, so knowledge is acquired through reading, through studies, through watching videos, through, you know, doing. The quality of knowledge that you have on anything is responsible for the successes that you reach and that is that makes it so nice because then it then your life is within your control so if you're not getting the results it shows that you don't know what to do you have not closed that gap that's your that's why you're not getting the results it's not anything magic magic it's not anything that is so beyond us it's just that it means that we don't know and this, if you're not sincere, you will not accept that you don't know. A lot of people are not sincere, so they believe that they know something. But the result shows that we don't know. We don't know, but a lot of us believe that we know, you know. <laughs> because we are doctor, lawyer, you know, engineer, so we know. No, the result is a proof that we don't know. And then they try to let us to push it to God and to push it to the unknown level. A lot of things in this life can be handled with the right knowledge. Things that are built in this life, that knowledge, somebody else has done it, is within us. 
you can reach for them you can go for them and once you start to get them and close the gap you can apply them because if you don't have the, the right setting of knowledge on anything that you want to do you will not succeed uh, uh, continuously consistently so if you are if you, if you are building a business or if you want to build a business there's a certain amount of knowledge that people who have built successful business have so if you will knowledge that you have is against those the basic rules of business the basic rules of business you should get them and so you close that gap on the basis if you don't close that and the basis will not just come just because you start the business you at least get a book and the best of the, this guy these business people the best of them are always reading something and you 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 don't know much and you don't know anything and you also don't want to read anything <laughs> and then you think that you will succeed it does not work that way so when you see people who have books towards where they are going, who are buying books towards where they are going, they want to have a successful marriage, they are buying books, they are reading, they are studying. They want to have a successful business, they are buying books, they are reading, they are learning. They want to become the best of scientists, they are buying the journals, they are learning, they are applying the principles. They want to become the best of sportsmen, they are buying books, they are training, they are learning. They want to become the best of politicians, they are buying books, they are learning, they are succeeding. If you look at the source of knowledge that they have, the accuracy of knowledge that they have, go to sleep. They also see all the people that you see. If you see the level, the, the, the inlet, the quality of the knowledge that they are going for all the time, they also see. So it doesn't matter what they are doing. If they are going for the best of knowledge, they will succeed. And so if you don't like that, it, it means that you are on a path not to succeed. You're on the path not to succeed. So you are the one that is waiting for a prophet to get, to declare that he will succeed. <laughs> you're the one looking for a magic. You're the one trying to go and bribe somebody so that you can succeed. So develop a plan, reading plan, studying plan, knowledge acquisition plan. Identify the areas that you don't know. And all of us have a certain measure of knowledge that we have on anything. But if you look at the resource and you're not happy with it, get a plan on that area. I want to read on finances because my finances are not good. I want to read on this because my... No, then you have a year's plan. You have a month's plan how to get that kind of knowledge. And you are getting that kind of knowledge not for the academics, not to, read, not to go and write an exam to get certificate. You are getting that kind of knowledge to achieve goals. The knowledge to achieve the goals that you set for your life is not the knowledge to write an exam and pass. No. This one is life. It's serious. It's you. You know that your financial knowledge is weak. Go and get books. Read. By the time you read about 10, 20 books, there's a common thread that you will see. And that thread is all the people who succeeded financially. No. That's why they succeeded. There's always knowledge is not so special. If you read 20 books on finances, none of them will be so much deviating. They all have, at a certain point, they all converge. And that is the thread that you are looking for. And once you find that thread, you get into the same kind of category with those people. Then you start to build something. Because you know how they negotiate. You know the basic understanding that they have of finance. You know. So if you see the poor, they also converge as a, at a certain point of ignorance. That's what they are poor. You see those who are not succeeding in the field that everybody else is succeeding, there's a certain belief system that they have had. And that belief system is full of, of ignorance, of fear, of, of shallowness, of lack, of, of you know, of, they're looking for sympathy. That is the gap that they have filled. But you want to fill your gap with predictability, with excellence, with accuracy of the knowledge that is needed in that particular field. And so I am of the opinion that if when it comes to life on this earth, success on anything has first of all got to do with your level of knowledge concentration, the quality of knowledge that you have acquired, the quantity of knowledge that you have acquired. Then from there you can you can apply. And once you start to apply, you can then build on what you, you, you had rightly. So if the knowledge that you have is not right, that's why you start to make so many mistakes. Because you did not start on the right footing. You did not start with the right knowledge, with the right understanding. You know, so you see you in a relationship, you are struggling all the time. It's because there are basic, basic things that the people who succeed in relationship have that you are yet to understand. You are yet to know. That's why you keep on failing. 
And it's not because there's something wrong with you. No, it's just because you don't just have the basis right. And so you see that this is a gap. It's a knowledge gap. I don't have it. And once I don't have it, I have to correct that. Or I will not get the success that I'm looking for. And this one is tough for humans to understand. You know, people get to say that, oh, everybody and the way they will reach whatever is true. But the base has to be the same. There are laws and principles governing a lot of things that we succeed in, in this life. So the accuracy that you get, how close you are to those principles, is what is going to decide whether you will succeed or not. How much of those, how many of those principles that you know, and how accurate are they, uh, how accurately you understand them, and how you start to apply them, will decide whether you succeed there or you don't succeed there. So we were all born in this life ignorant. Then we start life, we want to achieve something at something. That which will help us to achieve is the accuracy of the knowledge that we have. So if you don't get the right accuracy of knowledge, it doesn't matter our age, we will not succeed. We will not succeed. It doesn't matter the age that we have. The accuracy that we have to understand the knowledge that we need to succeed in a particular field has nothing to do with age, has nothing to do with uh, uh, sex, it has nothing to do with even your race. That knowledge is what is responsible for success. So if you want to succeed at anything, you all have to know that there is a knowledge difference that you have to feel and how passionately how deliberately we feel that knowledge is what is responsible for the success that you achieve in that field. And so nobody was born with that knowledge. If you decide to become, let's say you're an engineer, you decide to become a lawyer, <laughs> you need to acquire that knowledge, you see? And that sets the base. Now, for you to become a successful lawyer, there is what the successful lawyers know. If you don't get that base right, you will not be successful. And so all success, all the people, you read about the top, whatever, go and look at how they think. They eventually think the same. Eventually, when it comes to applications of principles to succeed at their goals. And then when you go to the ones in the middle, to the, they have the same kind of convictions. And when you go to those who are struggling and not succeeding, there is also a conviction that they have. That's why they are not succeeding. And it's all the gap that we have to fill. So there's a conviction that the guy who has built a successful business has. There's a knowledge that he knows. If I want to build a successful business, I have to have a certain amount of those convictions. And you get an amount of those convictions, those knowledge that brings the success, means that you're closing the gap. You're filling it with knowledge. Fill that. Because that gap is ignorance. Between you and your goal, it's much ignorance. The moment you know that I don't have this, and if I want to get there, I need this level of knowledge at least to set the foundation. And then I get to develop and build on it. If you, don't, if you are not that kind of person, you live your life to chances and to lack and to hope and to prayers. And a lot of people have left their life that way. Even countries have left their life that way. Countries have left their life that way to chances and to prayers. Instead of them knowing that there's a certain amount of knowledge that the people have to have for them to get this kind of productivity, this kind of resource. And so if they don't know, if they don't have that kind of knowledge, we cannot trust that they will consistent, consistently produce this kind of resource. And so we have to put that kind of knowledge there. It means closing the gap of ignorance and filling it with a gap with the knowledge that is needed for us to get the resource. The most intelligent leaders know this. So they start to develop their people to think in a particular way, to get access to some, some level of information. Then, so you go to any business that is succeeding, you see how they think, you see how they do their things. They did not just start to do things that way. Somebody has had to put that knowledge in the, in the business, in the people, in the culture. Then you see out of that knowledge, they start to get results. So same with our individual lives. If you don't have that gap filled with the right knowledge at a certain amount, at a certain level, 
the resource can never be continuous. The resource, once a while, you'll be lucky to get one. And then we start to struggle again. And then once a while, we get to get one. And then we start to struggle again because we have not consciously put that knowledge there. Because there is a knowledge that is responsible for conscious, conscious, deliberate resource that anybody gets. And that knowledge is responsible for why people succeed and why some people don't succeed. It's because those who succeeded knew that they did not know something. And for them to get to, do, to achieve their goals, they had to have that gap filled with that quality knowledge so that they could get the resource. Because the knowledge is responsible for the resource. Whatever resource that any group, any country, any business, any person achieves, the base of it is a certain quality of knowledge. So if the resource is not coming, it means that there's a gap there, which is full of un, uh, uncertainty un, and, 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 and lack of knowledge. You know? And once you start to say that, no, there's something I don't know, and I want to, you know? And me, the first sign is that if you don't know, get books and read as many books as you can. Have a plan to read the books whatever that you want to be the best in the base of it is books get the books not the one for the exam get the books if you want to become the best professor <laughs> how do you become the best professor have you read books on that have you read because the moment you start to read you see that people a lot of people have identified those things you're not going to be the first person to identify those you identify them then they become you become conscious of them then you start to practice them you get a strategy saying if you want to build a successful business people have done it they have put them in books get the books at least it's better you read about one two four five six seven twenty books on how businesses are built how finances are built how a team is built how a business is structured how a million a million is created at least get the it could be you could be just a uh, daydreaming no problem but your daydreaming is better than the one who has never read one book on that because that one is groping in darkness, you know. If you have never read any uh, concrete material on any topic, you don't know that topic. You may it may hit you once a while, but you really don't know it until you read a data. Until you read that, you don't know it. Until you start to study that, you don't know it, and that's what the people uh, who 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 don't achieve something uh, do. They don't really sit down to read something. Some people have married for 20 years. They have never read one book on marriage. <laughs> oh, married for three years, not one book. So once a while they are happy. The next minute they are not happy. Once a while they are very good at it. The next minute there's fight. Because there's not a proper document guiding them. So they are data on everything. The thing is that those who are religious, those who go to church, tend to believe that those kind of knowledge are against church. That is the problem. You know, so they are saying that there's worldly wisdom, worldly knowledge, and there's Christian knowledge. Let's see if it's getting the right results, which is not sinful, it's not worldly. It's the right knowledge. It's not worldly. It's the right knowledge. Because that knowledge that produced that car that you are using, when you buy that car, you're happy. Why are you not calling that knowledge that created that car worldly knowledge? But when it comes to something that you can apply to better your life, your finances, you call them wetly knowledge. I, I try not to understand that. If that telephone that you're using is not the same engineers, the same technocrats who developed that, the same entrepreneurs who built that. They built that with what kind of knowledge? So if that phone you're using is not wrong, what makes you think that that which they have found on, on business, on finance, on relationship is wrong? You know, and the people, uh, especially the Pentecostals and the charismatic people are the ones who are found guilty of this. So they are always not sure. So a lot of them don't build any capacity. They don't close the gap with books. When you are talking to them one day, they are quoting the Bible. <laughs> That's what. But you look at your results and you see the ignorance that you have. There's something that you don't know. There's something that you don't know. You cannot become the best of doctors, the best doctor, if you're not reading the journal in your, in your specialty. If you're not reading, if you're not researching, if you're not upgrade, upgrade, updating yourself all the time, you cannot become the best as a doctor in that. You are the one always praying because they told you to pray, which is good. Pray, but 
in terms of knowledge get that because somebody studied did research and came out with those kind of knowledge don't think that they are against god and that's why they told the african christian so that's why you know they are always looking for which does not exist which does not produce results and they are trying to say that is god you know some people want to start business they want to say i, I want to wait for the work for the voice of god to tell me so that i can move you're wasting your time if you have the idea and you can see it try to do it god is not against you starting your business you know and you can put there for 10 years and you have not heard anything and you are doing that because you are fearful it's not because you're christian and so the knowledge gap can be filled with books and don't segregate the books people have done quality research quality data out there get them get them after all, you went to school they, those things that they taught you in school they were not preachers who taught you they were some of them were atheists who taught you some of the things that they put in those books they taught you they examine you on them and you believe them anyway and that's why you chew them and poor and had your grade what makes you think that when it comes to life those people cannot say anything because now you're a christian and that's why we struggle we get to 40 45 we still have not been able to find anything because we did not put that knowledge there and so we think that we should have gotten to a certain stage but we are shallow we didn't study we didn't build any conviction you didn't build any conscious data in ourselves you didn't put anything in our brain on any subject whether it's finance whether it's business whether it's career development whether it's uh, relationship whatever it is we did not put that knowledge, conscious knowledge there. Build it, build it step by step so that we could depend on that to get results. We didn't. We rather prayed and read the Bible. And that was it. That is not enough for us to get results. Significant results in whatever that we are doing. It calls for knowledge that we have to close it. And this knowledge, if it's not killing people, is not against God. If, if it's wisdom and it's not wicked, it's not against God. So don't think that the guy who is smoking and has identified a product, his innovation, his knowledge is from the devil. It's not from the devil. It's helping humanity. So it's obviously from God. And that is what happens to the religious. They're always looking for something that does not exist. So fill that knowledge, close that gap. Build yourself. Steady. If you want to succeed in this life, your knowledge will not be enough. The knowledge that they gave us from anything will not be enough. We have to steady whatever you set your life to do, whether you want to become the best of bank, you want to build a bank, you want to build a hotel, you want to be the, become the president of our country, you want to become the best of scientists, you, are, you want to build an NGO, whatever that you want to do. Fill that gap of ignorance with the right knowledge. And read. Have a plan. To change that mind you see because people have not put anything in their mind that's why somebody will tell you that a professor the girl will die on that road like meanwhile the road is killing people everybody knows that people are dying there and the guy prophesies and people are trying to find all kind of means to say that it's witchcraft and all those it only happens to people who have not built any knowledge so they believe in that you know so close that gap Build that knowledge. If you are going to succeed at anything, there has to be. You you has to you have to be certain that at least what you know is the right foundation. Then you can build on it. You cannot just start anything and just with opinions. No. There are things that you need to understand before you can start or you can build or you can lift what you have built to the next stage. There are things that people know. Those who have built it, there's something that they know. That's why they continue to build and they continue to succeed. So it's not chance. If you are not succeeding, it's because there's there's a limit on our knowledge. That's we are not we are not succeeding. It's not because there's any force anywhere that is against us. No. The Russian is not even believe in God. But they are succeeding in what they do. They went to the moon. They come out with a lot of uh, uh, scientific product and technology. Why? Because they're committed to knowledge. They fill the gap. And once you commit to knowledge, you start to see. You get clarity. You know, so fill that gap. You are not going to succeed. They have told us everything about success. But they didn't tell us that we, until you close that gap of ignorance, you are not going to succeed. 
Some of them even tell us that you don't, you know, uh, the strength of man cannot do anything is God. <laughs> uh, yes, you believe that, but so why have you not succeeded? You believe that thing, yes. So why have you not succeeded? They told you, you believe in it. So why are you still struggling? Because they told you something that is half truth. The rest they should have told you is that until you fill your mind with the right kind of knowledge, you're not going to succeed at what you do. And life is that way. So we close the ignorance, we close the, 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 the things that we don't know. And once we start to close it, we, we will get the results that we need. We will get the results because knowledge is like that. Knowledge is like that. If you get the right knowledge, you will get the right results. Because it, it forms the foundation and it becomes a force that will push you to get the results. Your business will not grow to the next stage until you close that gap to get that knowledge. Then you can see what you have to do. The system that you have to put in place is that knowledge. The country will never grow and expand and develop until the people in charge of the country close that ignorance. You know, do away with that ignorance and know what to put in the people for them to become better people and to build anything. When something bad happens, our first inclination should not be superstition. Our first option is what is it that we miss? Why did this happen? What is it that we didn't put there? What is it that we were, we were wrong at? That's all. The person who is trying to move a, a, what is it, a, a rocket to the space. When he, when he missed the other previous ones that he missed, he went back to the lab and looked at the technology and checked on it and corrected the things that he didn't do rightly. Then he went back again. If he fails, they go back to the lab again. We, when it fails, we are looking for the demon. And that's why we are not progressing. You know, so when anything happens in your life, look at what that which you didn't do rightly. And go and get the right knowledge. And stop looking for things that uh, you will never get answers to. You know, things, because the answers that people are giving us, they are beyond our reach. They are beyond our control. I don't want answers that are beyond my control. I want answers that I can handle and develop and become better so that I can get results. And that is on the knowledge. So once you close that knowledge, you deal with the ignorance. You get the right kind of basis of knowledge. You can succeed at anything that you do. Anything. Anything in this life. You can succeed. Because you get to have the right base of knowledge. And that will come from consciously having a knowledge plan. Knowledge acquisition plan. How are you going to develop the knowledge? How are you going to fill that gap? What knowledge you need? Is this the finance? Is this the business? Is this the marriage? Is it the career? Is it about banking? What is it? Go and get it. Not the one you read you, you wrote for exam, the one that you want to live with to get results. People are not committed to knowledge acquisition. Not the ones to live. They are committed to the one to get a uh, certificate. The certificate will not change anything. Else. Is that one will change your attitude, your ethics, your work habit, that knowledge that will change your conviction, your vision, your skill. That knowledge is what separates winners from losers. It's not a certificate. So the certificate is important. Yes, I think so. But that which gets you resource is the one you have put in yourself to close the gap so that when you're reading you're reading to say that i'm reading this material so that i can get to this resource i'm reading this material so that i can achieve this i can achieve this goal you know so those are the things that you put in yourself so thank you very much for watching uh my name is obin Dako. i've shared with you fill the knowledge gap until we fill the knowledge gap as individuals as company owners as professionals as a country if you don't close that ignorance the results will never be consistent. We will never be sure of what we can produce. So thank you very much, George. Thank you, Daniel, for watching. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much for watching.